FTP client, which allows you to share files via FTP, obviously, um, from an FTP server, be that from another computer uh, on your home network or an external computer. Maybe you've got a service, uh, online storage, for example. Um, there are a number of types supported here. You've got FTP. Um, you've got the service by Amazon, the online storage they've got, uh, Rackspace cloud files, and of course there is the iDisk by Apple, which is quite handy to have. Um, this is freeware, so you can download it from um, their website. Just Google uh, CyberDuck and link will be in the sidebar, whichever direction that happens to be. Um, yeah, so you download that, it will be in your standard DMG file um, and then just put it in your applications folder. Uh, so here I've got three, well two FTP servers, one being the Acer desktop computer right next to this one and another being external. So first I'll show you the desktop on this uh, Acer. You can surf the files, it's quite fast as well for um, looking at the files on the opposite computer. You can copy them across, so if I was wanting, if I was wanting something off this computer I know there is um, in my downloads folder I was downloading a, downloading a torrent um, so you just go to downloads or whatever, whatever you want to copy across, you just drag and drop. Uh, so far I haven't got it so I can just um, so I can just drag into there and it will copy across to the other computer. Um, I've not managed to get that to work yet but I'm working on it. Um, so if I go back here, you, there is your external uh, or, I was going to mention as well here that the speed is quite fast because it's on the local area network so it's roughly about 500 kilobytes per second which is you know a decent speed for a cross network um, so here's the external uh, free FTP server I've got from the internet um, it's really quite slow I was putting I put something on here I put one one music file so it's not really ideal for doing that because it's so slow so I just connect to that and if it does actually eventually load which would be helpful um, oh, hell that's slow right yeah so here we go um, yeah this is just giving you an idea of how slow it is um, I'll show you, I'll copy this music file I've got straight to my desktop and as you can see if you compare what you've got about 500 kilobytes per second uh, copy rate there and here you've got about 5, 4 or 5 which is pretty shocking really so I need to get probably pay for an FTP client um, anyway so I'm now going to show you um, I'm going to show you another thing called uh, VNC, which is um, virtual network computing, which can be used for a variety of things, but the most useful I've found so far is um, using it to share one mouse and one keyboard with two computers. And as I said before, I've got a Mac here and an AC here, and these to two don't generally talk to each other very well. Um, but I've managed to share this mouse and this keyboard which are both wired and plugged into the Acer over the network and it works just fine so I've got one application here this is a server, you need two things, you need the server on the machine you want to use it, it with, use the mouse with and the keyboard and you need the client on the other computer um, and I'll show you that in a sec so you basically just start it and it shows you the IP address here um, it was as easy as that, you can download that and I'll put another link in the sidebar, it's called Find Server. Um, you just start it with your IP address which I think it picks up automatically um, and it says one client connected so I'm going to get an external camera which I've got here and show you the two machines working together. Okay, right, 
here I've got my uh, Mac. Um, I'll just show you, right, I had this running before. Uh, I've got the server running here. You can see there's you know, three clients connected. They're all this computer, which is the A7, which is right next to me. Um, so what you do is you put in the IP address of whatever computer is here. It happens to be a Mac. To do this on a Mac, you just go uh, network preferences. Um, it come up and it will say right there. It will give you your IP address um, on the Windows computer. Just type in CMD on the search box, uh, press enter and it should come up and then just type in IP config. Oh, my bad, that's my iPod. Um, and with no spaces and then it'll come up and it'll give you your IP address on this particular machine. It happens to be uh, 192.168.1.50. So when it asks you for this, what you do is you go to WinVNC, which is the, uh, the server, no, the client I'm using on this computer, sorry. No, and it's what you use, the client is what you use to connect to the server. The server is running on there. You can't do this without running a server on the other computer. Um, so that's my IP address from this computer. And I've set it up so you've got a password. You can all do that in. Um, the Vine server software, which I'll give you a link to. Uh, you put in your password, and then boom, it's connected, and it should pick it up on here. Uh, so the client's connected, and you can just move your mouse across. And you can use the keyboard. And yeah, same keyboard down there. Um, and then you can just, as soon as you bring your mouse over, this can this keyboard and mouse will be as if it's plugged into this computer and there's absolutely no lag which is brilliant um, so I'll just I'll use spotlight to find something I just type in hello uh, yeah and the enter button and everything works as it should except uh, the alt button which is in the same place on the map is um, the CM CM the command button basically um, is in the old place of the alt button uh, so you can use that for you know, fine switching and I've got a Microsoft mouse so obviously the middle button depending on how you've got it set up is brings up spaces but you haven't got the buttons on the side you know you can work out all that yourself um, there's really there's no lag it's completely free so it's really good uh, it's, it's quite easy to set up all you need is um, server on the computer you want to share the mouse with uh, and the client to connect to that computer and you need the client on the computer uh, that you've got the mouse and keyboard plugged into um, and that really is all there is to it um, so you've got plenty of options here and you can you can set which direction your screen is uh, located be it there or there or above or below um, so you've just got east west, north and south and when I plugged it in it just happened to be right um, by default. I think you've got some advanced options there for the positioning X and Y. Um,